Hey everyone, happy Thursday. It is Simply Fun Cocktail Time. I'm super excited because this week I am getting ready for Christmas. Um, we've got, we're hosting Christmas Day here, going somewhere else for Christmas Eve. What are you guys up to for Christmas this year? You should let me know. Um, so for a cocktail today, I know I shared with you on Thanksgiving that Cranberry Collins, and oh my gosh, that is gonna be a really great one for Christmas also with that nice rosemary syrup and that pretty rosemary sprig and the cranberries. That's gonna be a really nice one. Um, and I thought about going the rosemary route again today, but I thought I would switch it up and do something different. So, um, I know my sister will appreciate this one because she loves eggnog. So, we're gonna make an eggnog martini today. Switch it up a little bit, something new, something different, something definitely very Christmassy, um, but of course, it's not just plain eggnog, we're gonna spike it a little bit here. Um, there's actually a lot of different uh, cocktails that you can make with eggnog. I didn't even know, because I don't drink it all that often. But you can make it with tequila and rum and whiskey and brandy. Uh, but today we're gonna to make this martini and we're going to use vanilla vodka and some amaretto. Okay, so it should be pretty tasty. So we're gonna start with, of course, our shaker cup full of ice. Now the other thing that I did to get ready today is I've got my martini glass um, and I just got the rim wet a little bit and I put some cinnamon sugar on there. I literally just held it over this bowl here and I took the cinnamon sugar shaker and just kind of shook it over over the bowl. Um, so now I can I can throw this back in my in my shaker and use it again. So all right. So in here we're gonna put some eggnog. All right. Now this recipe calls for three ounces. So of course our jigger is two. So we'll do two plus another one. Okay, so we've got three ounces or three parts of the eggnog. Again, always remember you can definitely make these in bulk. You can make a picture of it. Instead of three ounces, you could do three cups, right? Okay, so we have the eggnog, and then we're gonna put one ounce each, one part each of vanilla vodka and amaretto. So again, remember you could do a cup of vanilla vodka, a cup of amaretto with three cups of eggnog, and you could make a whole bit, a whole pitcher for your Christmas party or for getting together with your family. All right, so one part each. And just pour those in. You guys know what comes next. We shake it up, all right? We're gonna shake it up and we're gonna strain it into our pretty glass here. And then we're gonna throw a little garnish on there. I'll show you that in just a second. So, again, lots of ways you can mix this up, all right? Depends what kind of liquor, what kind of flavors you like. You can also play with the ratios. If you want it a little more boozy, then go back to the two on one. Do the two parts of the eggnog um, instead of three. You know, it's your cocktail. You can make it however you want, all right? Or maybe you just want more vanilla in there, whatever the case may be. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna strain this into our martini glass. So that looks really pretty. All right. Now the other thing you can do if you wanna get real crazy is you can actually make your own eggnog at home and it's one of those things where it takes some time and some patience so you can't just get it put together right before you make a drink um, but i have a feeling it'd be quite tasty so all right so here i have this is this is whole nutmeg in here i don't know if you guys have ever seen what whole nutmeg looks like but that's it now of course you could get you know the the shaker maybe you've got some at home already um, but there's something about whole fresh nutmeg that is just really nice and delicious. Uh, I like to use it a lot when I'm making like a bechamel sauce. I like the fresh nutmeg. Um, so you can just take that and your zester and we can just put some fresh nutmeg right on top. Nice little, nice little garnish. It smells really good. It's just got that nice, like warm, homey holiday smell going on to it. So, all right, so there you go. Eggnog martini, quick and easy. Yep, yep, that'll do, that is good. I like the cinnamon sugar on the edge. I'm just gonna lick all that off. 
All right, guys, I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. Um, we will see you next Thursday, and we're going to come up with some sort of a New Year's drink next week. So you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy Christmas with your families, and we'll see you next week.